So then, um, I just want to say hello, and we're just loading in. Hence, why I was uh, taking a little bit of time there to uh, to to get going. But yeah, we're just loading into the sim now. Hopefully, fingers crossed, no issues will come about tonight. But uh, yeah, we're just going to do a bit of a. We haven't taken the Comanche up for a while, so we're going to set the Comanche up. Um, and we're going to go. We're going to have to take a look at the uh, Titan Hill um, airfield by Burning Blue Design. So let's have a look. Right, so here we are, and we're currently at Titan Hill. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have a little look around. Oh, sure, I'm dropping stuff. Give me a minute. I'm just going to move uh, move my drink to somewhere else. Because I'm about to spill that all over. Right. <clears throat> so hopefully we can have a little uh, a little pan. I'm just going to check that I've got a uh, got the sinker on because it looks a bit choppy to me. No, I think it's because I've got my VR my VR. Uh, you know, let's just do that. I don't know what reflex latency is, but let's flick that on. Uh, I've never used this, right? So let's use it. Let's just see what it does, right? Resume now. So this here is Titan Hill, right? And as you can see, it's uh, it's it's a it's a really good it's a really good rendition. I think I might have to just unlock that. I'll get there eventually. Give me a right. Let's just turn. I don't think I ever used that, so that's changed. So I don't want to use that. Hopefully everything will be all right. <clears throat> right. So so this is Titan Hill something weird going on down here i think someone's probably loaded in but uh who knows but basically one nice uh one nice runway hasn't got lights unfortunately so we can't do like night ops uh it'll be a bit difficult um but yeah so so this is my local airfield and what i want to do is i just want to come out of here and uh do we come down that way or do we go from that side i can't remember uh, i can't remember but uh but anyway i think we actually come from down here right so let's just let's just go down here for a minute and and basically i i've taken my son here to go and watch the planes quite a while ago now and we drive up here from where i live and we uh, we go up. Oh, here we go. And then, oh, we don't we don't go through the floor. We don't go through the floor. Let's just pan that out. And then we go into the car park. Now, what I like about um, Burning Blue is they actually, you know, they they all that that they've got a really eye for detail. And um, and this is how it actually looks, you know, in terms of the sign and everything. You know, and you 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 bop in here. Um, and I came in here, and I think I parked on the on one of these bays down here, and I got out and I started to to walk up here, and there was actually planes over here actually, so there were planes. Um, I don't know what's going on with these cars because that's just weird. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll skip over that. And then what I did was uh, we walked down this side. Oh, no, we didn't. Where did we end up going? Because we didn't go to the calf, so we did. We, we obviously didn't go that way. And this way, it's saying that you can't go that way. So I can't remember the way we went now. Uh, how did we get through there? Because we came up here. I'll tell you something. There's, I know why. There's actually two sceneries going on here. Ah, oh, I've got two different sceneries going on. That is really frustrating. 
it's a good job we can kind of half ignore that. That's that's the reason why. That's the reason why. But going back to, I'm gonna to have to fix that. I didn't even know I had something installed for Titan Hill. So uh, that's interesting. I'll have to double check that. But we'll. But it doesn't matter too much. Um, cause it's all kind of hidden. But this, where that couple are, are, are like stood there, they're having a cup of coffee. Me and my son were stood there, and there was a couple of planes over here, and that's why that plane is like the way it is. Um, and there's a there was a couple of planes starting up and taking off. Um, and yeah, so unfortunately, the burning blue design is getting mixed in with something else, and that's such a shame because right I can't have that I'm not gonna have that it will literally take me a few minutes just to just to get rid of that it's that will really bug me um, right let's let's fix it let's fix it right I'm gonna try and navigate to where I need to go on the computer but first we'll just quit to desktop my apologies, I didn't load it up. I didn't have time to load it up today, so hence why I'm just having a look now. But it shouldn't take too long just to have a look. So if we've got in there, burning blue designs, yeah, that's fine. Very obvious. So I'm just having a look now. It's definitely not Orbex, so mm -hmm. ah, found it. Found the culprit. Let's get rid of that. Right let's start it up again and this time hopefully it won't have any issue we won't have any issues so my apologies on that and the other thing I wanted to check was if the actual uh, if the actual uh, what you call it <laughs> I'm, I'm muttering the the flight board up up there up oh, other way up there is uh is actually working yeah we're all right right so we're now loading in and it shouldn't take two minutes to get in there again <clears throat> but that was important I had to get rid of that I didn't realise I actually had something installed but it's nothing in comparison to the uh, the burning blue design um, package so I just wanted because before it was literally just maybe one or two default buildings with with the runway um and then i, I got this add-on uh freeware and uh, that added a bit more detail but not a lot and then obviously burning blue but i forgot about the other one <clears throat> and as you can see i'm sporting my which where am i sporting my a to a t-shirt today because we're in the a to a comanche and we will do a quick flight we're going to go after we've had a, a nice look of uh of of uh Titan hill we'll we'll go for a little wander to uh east midlands and then i'll check the time and maybe we'll go back to uh Titan hill because it would be good just to fly in there as well as out So yeah, hopefully it won't take too long. Um, I have done an update, but the I didn't do any of the uh, scenery packages updated, so hopefully that won't give me any grief today. World map, here we go. Right, uh, why is it not there? Titan Hill. Right, scrolling in we want i'm gonna go for that parking right and we'll go to egnx we'll tweak the time we'll put it to about two o'clock in the afternoon ish that'll do 
and we'll just do the current weather conditions. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, so apologies on that, but these things happen. And we and I haven't been on my sim for quite a while, as you guys know. So um, I've got my yoke set up, my fulcrum yoke. Looking forward to getting that. Got the old throttle quadrants uh, going as well. Um, so hopefully it's going to be fun. I'm not doing it in VR today. Uh, just feel like doing it in, in normal, um, normal view. Right, so back to it. Let's let's have a proper look now while we're here. Uh, all right. So yeah, so there we go. So that's fixed. That's fixed that dodgy looking plane. And I'm just going to check the V-Sync again, just because for some reason that does not look. It, I don't know if it looks like it's on. No. <laughs> Why does it keep turning it off? Why does that keep turning that off? I don't understand it. I know I've probably got it off for uh, oh. a VR, but anyway. Isn't that weird? Right, so let's have a look. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back to where we was because I've not looked at this and I really want to have a look at it. So me and my boy up the road lovely signs yep that is perfect straight in no cars on the grass this time um, and we were parking on this side of the, of the car park the other thing there was actually a plane over there being started up and and messed around with um but yeah so but obviously we've got these lovely buildings and we got the calf and and we walk down here that's better look right so instead of going to the calf which i it's good that he's done this because i've never gone there and gone to the calf so maybe one day i'll do that but um but yeah we i didn't know these were toilets but they are there's the tower so and we and all this it's lovely and green and this is exactly how it kind of looks which is cool and we went through here and we were literally just stood uh maybe yeah about here and we were just watching we were just watching that lovely view and listening to the plane start up and and we was looking down there and I, and as you can see if you just look in the distance we'll go down there in a minute but i could see like you know the old uh i don't know what they are built the old war building i imagine so the old base and then we've got some other please keep the gate shut lovely little details i love the i love the glass you know so the glass effects that they do is really cool. I mean, I don't know whether the stream will pick that up, but I like that kind of detail. And one day I'll do it. Um, I'll do it when it rains as well, just to see that see what it's going on. So really old looking uh, tower with the old glass smudges here, dirty, dirty edges of the glass, which is really, really cool. It's a nice touch just to make it look dated, you know, because it really is a dated uh, place. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, and then what we'll do is we'll just head down here. So this is the calf, which I've never been to, so I can't tell you whether that's real or not, realistic or not, but uh, good stuff. And then we've got some other buildings here. Light training buildings. What's that one? Aero fly. <clears throat> Air ability. That that sounds good. So we'll keep going down here. Um, and then it's got air ambulance, and the, there normally is. Um, there is a heli helipad apparently. Uh, is that it? There is a helipad somewhere. But um, I've not actually, um, oh hello, I've not actually seen the air ambulance there, so, um, so I've turned it off. But you can have that on, 
Uh, you got these, these buildings. I don't know what these buildings are all used for, but... And then you've got hangar. Air ability plane there. Pretty cool. Couple more uh, build, buildings here, look. And because I've never got this far up, because I don't think... I'm not sure you're allowed to actually come through here. And if you are, then I've never done it. But um, I've never, I never knew that this was here. But that's pretty cool if it is, just to go and have a little mosey and have a look. And this building here, I'd love to go and see what this building is in real life. I mean, is it all boarded like that? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> uh, got some weird looking thing here. I don't have a clue what that is, but we'll just leave that there. Then we've got some buildings around here. Um, and then if we just zoom all the way over here, got a couple more outbuildings around here, which is interesting. I presume that's part of the design as well. Um, and we're just going to go up here now. There is actually another runway, which I didn't know about, because I've only ever seen the main long one. Um, I've never seen this one, so that's interesting too. And, yeah, these these buildings here, yeah, these are, these are pretty cool. So I'm just going to zoom down here. Um, I, don't know what, I don't know what the fronts are. What the fronts are. Like, they're like fabric, don't they? Um... They do look like fabric, and if we get down to the bottom one, where I presume we'll be able to use this as a parking space, um, where it won't have collision and stuff. But yeah, they've got like foldy doors. Look, and that's pretty cool. I don't think you could probably unfold, like fold and unfold them doors, but yeah, it looks cool. It does look good. I'm gonna when we come and land again, we're gonna. Probably try and remember how to get there, and we'll we'll head there. I think um, because I don't think I'm just going to zoom this way a little bit. Obviously, this is a taxiway here, but I don't think that there is a taxiway. I think that's just for like a cars and vehicle, like for like cars. Um, but yeah, we'll try and park there when we get back um, on our mission. We'll claim that as our own. That's that, that's our home now, from now on. Um, we've also got one on the other side, I think. But yeah, really looking forward to going up on this. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we've got... These ones actually shut up, so... I wonder what that is. Bit of, uh, bit of, bit of stuff. But yeah, so I what it looks like is we're going to have to... How would you get there unless you... I mean, I suppose one runway is going to be active, yeah? So if it was this one, you're going to go land and then you're going to turn off. Oh, there's a... You can taxi down the grass, I suppose, but say if you cross the runway then, you could then taxi back that way because then that runway won't be in use. But if this one was in use, then you could, you'd basically land and taxi over that way. But if something was coming in the opposite direction, you'd probably have to pull off and go down the grass. But yeah, um, it'd be interesting. I've never known the workings of uh, of Titan Hill, so yeah, so it's uh, it's interesting. And we've got these fields and. I honestly don't know whether these are actually uh like farm fields that they must be but I never th I never thought they were I never never had a, a scooby doo right so there's Titan Hill lovely jubbly let's have a drink right then let's get back in the old plane and we're going to have to do a really good um walk round today because we uh <clears throat> we haven't been in this plane for quite some time so let's and i've also forgot most of the stuff so 
just out of memory we're gonna undo that we're gonna put the mixture and that forward we're gonna crack the throttle now we're not gonna start it just yet flaps i'm hoping these are the flaps perfect and um, we'll hide the yoke just for a minute we'll put both of these on okay uh right let's start now we do have the tablet so we can click the tablet and we can maybe go on to the the uh the controls and stuff so i'm just making sure that everything's on really apart from the uh the thing now fuel we're we're not gonna i think you click that don't you yeah so when we start it on the battery we'll have a look at how much fuel we got um before we head off so first things first let's just have a look at the fuel so we've actually got half a tank in both so that's quite good um and we've got i think we might even have a tip tank um tip tank fuel as well but i'm not 100 percent sure right so Let's just turn that off for a minute because what we're going to do is we're going to do our walk around. So, tablet, walk around. And we're in here. Oh, there's not a lot of move. There's not too much movement, but there's not too little movement. So that, that sounds good. And it sounds good as well. You've got to bear that in mind. Um... That sounds okay too. Just check the fuel. <clears throat> so, yep, yeah, so we have got fuel in the tip tanks. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to grab this. And it doesn't look like there's uh, there's water in there, so that's good. Uh, these are the lights. Now, the thing is with the lights, if I just put the battery on. Oops. And the... Let's put on the landing light. Why is there a massive delay when I'm clicking this and it's just like, whoa, we've got landing light. <laughs> right. Oh, I have to click on the actual text. Look, I thought I was clicking on this and this doesn't actually do anything. That's interesting. I didn't know that. Right. So we've got landing light. That's uh, useful. We'll get rid of the tie down. We'll look at this. Uh, whoops. We'll look at this fuel. And we've got fuel in there, so that looks okay. It seems to marry up with what we've got uh what we've got there. How do we move this? I can't remember how you move it. I don't need to move it, right. So chocks away. <laughs> uh so let's check the Let's check the fuel. Right, so there's no water in there, which is good. So we'll close that. Uh, everything's clear around the prop, which is good. And the prop looks nice and shiny and new, actually. It doesn't look too bad. So we've got nothing blocking the way there. Now we can check the oil. Now the oil is quite clean and from what I can see there it's uh it's nice and high so we I think we should be alright there. Perfect. Uh I think this is the other fuel tank on the other wing, yep. So yep, that seems to marry up with what we've got there. That the reading in the plane. Right, 
So chocks again, we'll move them out of the way. Pito heat tube and the tie down. Now what we are going to do is turn on the pito heat. So the battery's been on, which is not good. <laughs> so I think what we can do, that's cold. Okay. But we'll give it a couple of give it a couple of seconds and then that should. Oh, there we go. It's gone hot. So we've we've definitely got pito heat when we want pito heat. So that's good. Back to the maintenance. Once again, lights. So let's just flick the battery and let's do the other landing. So yeah, we've got super, super landing lights. Whoops. Turn the battery off. Mm. Let's it'll go flat. And the one thing I didn't check was the nav lights on the other side, but that looks okay to me. And what we'll look at is, we'll just do these nav lights at the minute. So, where are you nav lights? Oops. How do I, oh. There you go. So we have got nav lights on this side. Um, how do we? <laughs> no. How come? Uh, okay, I'm just going to leave that because it won't turn off. Right, and let's carry on round. So fuel again. Yep, that looks good to me. Just fuel. That sounds okay. Uh, once again, this one sounds okay too. Uh, no blockages in there. Rear tie down and free free movement there, and that's that's okay too. Okay, no blockage and uh, right, we'll take some we'll take some baggage. So we'll take that one. We'll take that one. Uh, how do I move this without? Maybe I don't need to move it. And we'll take the tool kit. We don't need any stopover gear. We're just going on a little trip. So we're, we're good. Oops, I've gone the wrong way. And it's locked it anyway. Let's just double check. Yeah, so we're going to do that. And it's locked. Perfect. So I think we're good. We're good to, uh, we're good to go, right? <laughs> So flight info. Now I like to look at this <coughs> just for the uh, altimeter and also the wind. So we've got two seventy at three knots. So I'm I'm going to go. I can't remember the the runways at Tatum, but I'm going to take off down that way anyway. So let's just hide that. Right. So let's start this up. So let's put the put the flaps all the way. We're going to have, it is quite cool, so we're currently looking at around, actually it's not too bad actually at the minute, so we're good, we're good for that, we've got no misting up going on the, on the uh, windows at the moment, so that's a win. Right, so beacon on because we're now going to start the plane, and we're putting power to it, so we've got power, uh, now this was the thing that oh I don't know what that's popping up for. So this was the nav lights. So we're gonna just turn the nav lights on to halfway, right? We are going to make sure that throttle's cracked. We're gonna prime it. Um, we'll prime it about five times. Whoops. No. Oh, well, we've primed it enough times now, so... <laughs> I don't know what was going on there. And what we've got to do is... Put that on both and press the button. Oh. 
Oh no. Uh, hmm. What have I done wrong? I've primed it. We don't need the fuel pump on, I don't think. Not until we... I don't think we need the fuel pump on. So the engine has, has seized. Something's not quite right. So let's turn these off. Something's not quite right. So that, that definitely did not like that. So let's... Let's hop into here, and we'll have a look at the maintenance. Now, we've, this means that we've sent it into the garage to have a look, <laughs> into the hangar. Uh, and we're going to have a look at the engine. And we're going to do... How do we do this again? Uh, it's been a while. It's been a while. How do we... You don't just click that because engine analyzer. No, that's not that. Inspect. Sorry, it's right in front of my face. So we've got the crankshaft and that, which is which needs work, which uh, obviously is not good. So what we'll do is we'll fix that, and the crankshaft definitely fix. Now we'll inspect it. And all these need fixing, so we need to replace all the cylinders. <laughs> right, so at least we've got some cylinders now. We'll actually get up in the air soon. Right, so now we'll inspect the engine. Now we've got good work. Right, that's good. Now... What else I want to look at is actually the battery is almost flat, but um, let's see if we can get it started with the battery anyway, right? Because I think we did have it on quite a while. We have primed it. So once again, beacon that we've primed it. Oh, turn the key. There we go. Right, so I think we do need to uh, I think we will need to charge the battery up just before I do that I want to inspect this again yep so that's fine uh, oops and then we'll do electrical system the battery how do we uh, how do we do the battery? How can we fix the battery? So we have got volts going in. Only eight point nine. I'm not sure whether that's enough. Uh okay, okay, I think I've I think I know what I need to do. Click charge. There we go. Now, this is why you're supposed to read the manual. But I don't. So that's that's what makes it fun for me. I'll just like, oh, I've read a bit to the manual, but not all about this. So that's quite good. Let's try it again now. Um, everything looks okay. So I think what we need to do is maybe fuel pump on. Oh, oh, we've got the engine starter going. Let's uh, prime it. Right, and that's got a funny feeling it's going to go now, sir. So. Right, nice, nice. It's a cold engine. Right, we keep the RPMs just above a thousand, and we'll lean the mixture until it goes rough-ish, like that, and just chuck it up a couple of notches. <coughs> Good stuff. Right, so we are back in business. Now, that shouldn't have been on, by the way. So, now I'm going to put the pitot heat on. I'm going to put the 
master avionics switch on we're not going to put the landing lights on just yet because we're not going to be moving soon at the minute not quite uh, what we do want to do is we want to have a look at the um, flight info again and um, we've got 29.92 on the alt so 29.92 which is about right that's good um, our compass is saying around 21 so this is completely wrong so you have to pull push that in to move the card and let me just double check because it is about 21 ish so let's just go about there is it 20 more towards the uh, 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 I think that's about right and then what I tend to do is just just kind of correct it anyway oh no there we go and what we're waiting for now is we want the oil temperature to get nice and high maybe the cylinder head temperature to get a little bit more heat into it as well so we'll just wait there for a bit um, <clears throat> the runway now let's just lop out the plane for a minute runway 26 right So runway 26 will be fine um, because we're going to be taking off into the wind. So that's going to be perfect for this flight. So that's good. Let's set up this. Now what I haven't done, uh, we're going to stick that on standby. And we're just going to stick on this. Right. Now what I haven't done is updated the latest A2A update, right? So that's not what we've done so far. So this has already got in in the uh, sat like in the GPS going to East Midlands, so we'll keep that as is. Uh, let's zoom out a touch though, because we know where we're going. <coughs> And the runway we're going to head is runway 26, which is there. No autopilot, because that's boring. Right, there we go. Controls are nice and free. Perfect. Perfectible. Right. check my old uh, messages but just before we uh, head out <clears throat> so I'm gonna hit the grass and I'm just gonna go round the planes I think because I'm not sure what would happen in real life because obviously I mean we could go to the right actually we could pull to the right we'll do that we'll go round to the right and then do the taxiway right so this here refuel no so I think we just exit that. And then that'll be that. We're now in the green, which is good. Cylinder head temperature's getting warmer as well, which is nice. So I think we're ready to rock and roll. And it's been a while, so here we go. So I'm going to hold on to the brakes. We're going to release the parking brake. And we're going to let it go forward test the brakes out that's fine what we need to do is put on the landing lights
But this is it, this is good. This is like I'm actually at Titan Hill. Just about to go past where me and my son was uh, stood there. Hi guys, now I'd like to know how close I am to the fence. That is pretty close, isn't it? And funny enough, there's actually a, uh, a Comanche that actually is based at, at Titan Hill. And it's the one that comes with A2A, which is the one with the, the blue and the uh, like a luminous orange um, tip tanks, right? And that one is the one that's uh, that's based there, right? So we're just going to spin this so that we don't blast everybody. Right, let's just uh, spin this right around. There we go. And we're going to do our run up, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to do a mixture full. We're going to put the RPMs to 2000 RPM. Or thereabouts. And everything's nice and smooth at the minute. So we're going to prop cycle. And that seems to work fine. So we'll do that a couple of times because we haven't actually blown the plane for some time so good times right now now we're going to test the um, the magnetos right so that one it drops it goes back up to normal it drops goes back up to normal um, carb, is it carb heat? Yep, yeah, carb heat. Almost forgot about that. Straight back up, goes back up to 2000. That's perfect. And then we'll idle the engine. And hopefully it doesn't cut out. So that's fine. So we're almost ready to go. So we're going to click the strobes and the. Uh, fuel pump on we're going to stick the on we're going to put that on and i think we're ready to go so of runway 26 this is what it would look like if he was actually there oh there's a plane coming for some reason or starting up <laughs> is that plane actually going anywhere that is interesting right so let's hold them brakes and let's run it up a little bit let go. A bit of rudder. Up to about 80, and then we'll start pulling back. Nice. Gear up. What we're going to do is we're going to pull the uh, throttle back just slightly. We're going to pull the RPMs back down to about two, three ish. And we'll just go up to about two thousand, two and a half thousand feet. Now we are going to go to the right and do a bit of a, a, bit of a right hand circuit. The manifold pressure I've just set to 25, roughly, or 24. Actually, I think it's 23, isn't it? So, 23 and 23 is pretty much what we what we get there. Um, let's have a little look at uh, Titan Hill as we go by, if we can. The, the wing is a little bit dipped, but we should be able to... There it is. That's looking good.
Nice. So I've got my Newfbaver Airport now because it is the, it is closer than East Midlands. East Midlands has always been my, my um, the one that I'll go to in the sim, only because uh, only because it's it's it had a really good add-on, and um, and that's where I just started from all the time, and it has lights. But this is a bit more realistic to the type of flying that I do. So. So there we go, there's the little buildings. That's where we're going to park, hopefully, when we set it up later. Hopefully. Right, let's just get this uh, slightly trimmed. And we'll just come up to two, two and a half thousand feet now, which is good. I think I've actually got, I don't know whether I've got real weather on there or not. Um, I can have a look. Uh, no, I've got scattered clouds. Oh well. It's not the end of the world. It looks nice. Alright, so we're 2,500 feet. What we're going to do, we're going to just reduce that manifold pressure down to about 18.5-ish. Uh, we're going to just leave the... I think we're going to put the RPMs at 22. And then we're just going to trim for a nice level flight. Cool. Uh, now we're flying, we can actually turn off the uh, fuel pump. It's a positive out here is uh, Burton on Trent because um, it kind of looks like it, and you have to go through Burton on Trent from where I live to get to Titan Hill. So, all this is probably Burton. And we are going through some clouds, so I don't know whether to set my view up a little bit higher or a little bit lower, but. It kind of resets at that at the minute. Yeah, this definitely looks like Burton, but... That looks like the A38, potentially. And then you've got the River. River Trent. Potentially. Maybe we've got... We've gone a bit mental with the clouds, look. <laughs> to the left a little bit. Doing about 150 knots at the minute. Alright, so without crashing, hopefully I can just have a little look outside. Look at that. What a view and what a plane. So we are dipped a little bit, so we are just going below the two and a half thousand, but we're alright. We can level that off and bring it up. Right, so the other thing I... Now there is... Uh, which way? That That's the one I normally have, that's the way. And we're seven and a half, seven nautical miles out, so... We could probably just about see it, actually. So we need to start just looking at um, maybe maybe slowing down and um, 
And what's the what's the wind? So the wind is it was two six, wasn't it? So once again the runway is gonna be two seven, which is this one. So we're gonna actually join on the the uh, left downwind, I think. But that's how that's how close it is. It's a stone throw away and literally my house is not that far away from both of them. It's quite good. So what we're going to do, we're just going to dip the nose a touch, um, trim down a little bit, maybe reduce the manifold pressure and... We'll take this down to about 2,000 feet. Um, if we look outside the window, uh, we're not there yet, but just there, that is Donington Park, the racetrack. And that's right at the end of the um, of the runway. Oh, we had a bit of turbulence then. Uh, right. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do um, I'm going to do a touch and go rather than a full stop landing, and then we'll go back to Tayton Hill and hope fingers crossed it won't be too dark to land, and hopefully the visibility won't be um, too bad either. Right, so we've kind of like I mean look at the lighting on that dash, but um. We're kind of do it, keep into the west, ignore this green. We can correct that, but I'm going to keep it where it is. Uh, so there we go, we're just going to get to that point. What's going to happen to uh, this plane? Right, so we are going to start just slowing down now uh, because we're. We're going to want to be slowing down to, to land, so... Oh, not that far. Now, the, the gears, I think you can put down at around about 140-ish. 150, I think, is the minimum. Oh, uh, the maximum. Yeah, there it is. I see it. 150 miles an hour, so... Yeah, about 150, 140. We'll hit that. And then what we'll do is we won't put the gears down just yet. We'll just keep that speed for now. Uh, until we're really past the, uh, the, the threshold for the runway. Because what we're going to do is we're going to then turn onto the, uh, the base leg. And then turn onto final. So let's go down to about one and a half thousand feet now. What? Why? I really need to... Oh, you can't see that. But for some reason, game, I think I've somehow I've enabled Game Bar. And it's, uh, it's, it's sending me notifications. So, right. So what we need to do now is we need to go fuel pump on. Uh, everything else is fine. We've got... Fuel, everything looks good. Temperatures, yeah, that's fine. Right, let's start turning in. Now, the white bar on the actual uh, speedo, I'm going to call it the airspeed indicator, that's what it is, is when you can start doing the flaps. So, what we're going to do is I'm just going to do one, one set of flaps to help us not slow down but keep our nose up and um, now our approach speed needs to be 90 uh, I think that might be miles an hour actually not knots yeah so 90 miles an hour we're getting that that west to hit that yellow par there so so we'll just keep turning 
and we'll see the runway, which is good. So that's perfect, and we're going to drop gears now, and we're just going to make sure that the the gears actually. Oh, one minute. There we go. Let's just double check. Oh, we're overshot it a touch, but we're just going to watch them. So we've got greens on the uh, gears now. We've got prop full, mixture full. Um, and we're going to be coming in a little bit too high because <laughs> while I was talking I, um, I actually didn't realize that I was actually climbing so let's just uh, let's just kill this down a touch keep that airspeed low this would actually be like rinsing your ears and everything if this was real life but right okay so we're back there, we've just come down to one and a half thousand feet, which is good. What we're going to do is going to do, um, we're going to do flaps full, just to help the airspeed. There we go. That's a lot better. Um, I'm just going to trim up a little bit, just to try and help me out with the, with the yoke. There we go. Well, because this is a touch and go as well, we are going to almost fully stop. Um, and it's been a long time since I've ever since I've done one of these, so it's going to be interesting. So this is East Midlands. Look at the fancy lights. Uh, it means that if it's night time, we can always go to East Midlands. But we should be all right to go back to Tayton Hill. We can see quite far at the moment, and it should only take us about another 15 minutes. 10 15 minutes to to get there so I'm going to slow it down a little bit more just because we are a little bit too fast so we've got the 90 now we're going to cross the threshold at 80 miles an hour roughly right There about it. So I'm going to go a little bit earlier. So I'm kind of ignoring the puppy lights a little bit and doing it visually. But <clears throat> right, so there's your 80. We're just going past 300 feet. Pull back. Oh, hello. This is not the smooth ride it's meant to be, guys. Oh, -ho. sorry. The reason why that was. I didn't have my yoke tight enough and it was coming away from the table. <laughs> right, flaps up. So we got flaps up and we are now going to go mixture prop full. We will just double check the... Um, we'll check that the trim's in its neutral position, roughly. And then we'll, uh, we'll take off again. That was a really bad landing. I, I, I land better when I'm in VR because you get a better perception of speed and position. Right, here we go. Right. Uh, gear up. Let's just have a little, little look to the side. There's East Midlands. Lots of big planes. That's where the little planes would be. Uh, we're gonna just do a little bit of a mosey here because I wanted to show you uh, Donington. So this is where like the freight and stuff happens down here. Um, really going up now. And here we are, so Donington Park. And if we're lucky, we might see some cars going round. Yep, there's a car. It's just coming round there and that's a nice fast piece of uh, track coming around here. Oh, there's some more cars. They've actually got lights on them. That is pretty cool. I've never noticed the lights before. <laughs> but there we go. Right, so let's uh, let's pull the uh, prop back down to about 23, 24, 23. 
Manifold pressure down to 25, just while we climb. And I'm just going to tilt, trim the nose out. Right, so we're just going to reverse this because uh, whoops. BM, there we go, enter that. And that'll take us to EGBM, which is good. So we're 2,000 feet, we'll stay at 2,000 feet actually, because it's quite a nice, uh, a nice, nice altitude. Let's bring the, manif let's bring the, uh, the prop back to about 2,2 two or 2,3. Two, we'll bring the manifold pressure down to 8 and a half again. Uh, we're a little bit high. Said we was going to stop at 2,000, but we'll uh, we'll turn the fuel pump off just for something to do. Oh, the uh, whatever that was was uh, interesting. See, so, yeah, I do need to update the command chain. I do love flying it. It's just I have to set up the yoke and stuff, which is a bit. Uh, sometimes. Let's see. I'm just going to tighten my yoke while we're like really there. But yeah, it's like it's really, really close. Now, um, when we land, we're going to be going straight in. So it's going to be interesting. We're going to have to start slowing down a lot earlier because I, I like normally doing circuits, but fortunately, we are going to be going straight in. It is getting dark. So when we get to about, I don't know, I'd say about seven, eight or seven nautical miles out, we'll start slowing down um, so that we can literally just go straight in and we can start looking for the airfield. I'm going to go down to 2000 as well just because it will give us a bit of time to um, to see where we are. And if we miss it, we miss it and we'll just do a circuit and we'll go round again. Um, but yeah, we'll try and do a straight in approach if we can. Right, so let's start slowing down. We've just gone past eight nautical miles. Um, I'm just going to start slowing it down. Um, and we'll trim up as well just to make sure that we're not... Oh, I put the manifold pressure too low. So that's that should be about 15. Uh, this is stuff that I have forgotten over the time. Um... Yeah, here we go. So we'll just keep it at about that and look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's just move this a bit closer to me, me head. Right, so can we see? <laughs> can we see it yet? Oh, it's over there, I think. So... So it is over that way. I can see the runway is going to go that way, so uh, which makes sense because of the green bar. So let's let's head that way. Um, we're now five nautical miles out. We're about 1,500 feet just over. Right. So let's start let's start slowing this down. Now, because we're going straight in, I'm going to drop the gears now. And then that'll help us slow down too. Right, let's just head over to the airport, because we can actually see it now, which is good. <clears throat> let's just check that the gears are down. 
So we've got green light, which is good. What we're going to do is going to put the fuel pump on. We're going to put the prop full. And we're going to just going to do a, a notch of flaps. And we're going to stay at 1,500 feet, I think, for the time being. Let's try and trim for that a little bit. So our approach speed this time is going to be 90, because I want it to be 90. Uh, let's start turning so we can actually see the runway. Yeah, so I'm going to hit that runway and then we'll take it from there. <coughs> actually, this, we're landing in the same direction we took off, so Titan Hill is going to be on our right. Um, going to do another notch of flaps. I'm just going to give it a bit more beans. Hopefully this will be smoother but no promises because uh, as I say I'm, I'm kind of used to now flying in VR quite a lot and um, when you fly what we call pancake mode again on a monitor it's uh, it's actually really difficult because you, you can't get your bearings it's like your sense of speed, your spatial awareness is completely different. Right, so here we go. It's uh, it's a bit wobbly, but we're uh, we're coming on in. I think there are pappy lights, but maybe we're too high. I mean, let's see what what happens with these pappy lights, because I'm kind of expecting one. If there's four, then we need two red and two white, but. To me, it just looks like there's two whites there, but which would mean we want one red and one white. All right, let's slow this down a touch because we're going far too fast. We're doing 100 miles an hour, which... <coughs> All right. There we go, one red and one white. And we're just going to... Floaty on this in. And we, we, this is perfect because we're gonna we're gonna land and we're gonna go over to that hangar because it, hopefully we'll stop in time. Everybody's watching us at the gate, so we're going over the threshold roughly at around about eighty miles an hour. So we'll start cutting the throttle. Nice and slow, my yoke's coming off the bloody thing again. The rough landing again, but we got there. We didn't crash, which is good. And um, we're just going to slow this down. Uh, just going to slow this down so we can turn off the uh, turn off to the right when we see it. Well, we're going to keep the RPMs above a thousand. We're just going to use the brakes a touch. We're going to lean the mixture out just while we get off the uh, runway. Well, let me just make sure I'm going in the right direction. Yep, yeah. looks like it. Right, let's just uh, park up here for a minute. Sure, we passed the line. Well, I didn't put my uh, my flaps back up, which I should have done when I landed. But we're going to turn fuel pump off. We're going to turn the strobes off, and that's about it. And we're going to put that on. We're going to put that. Oops, wrong way. On standby till we get back to the uh, the place. So yeah. So we'll just mosey past all this stuff here. I'm going to go and see if I can uh, put it in. Now, I, th I think I'm sure the A2A used to have a tow. Um, we're crossing this runway now, but we've had clearance off the tower. That's not a problem. <laughs> right, so it, they, it used to have a tow. 
And I'm thinking maybe we can push it in backwards. If I can work out how to tow it. Right, let's just double check that we're not going to hit anything. Stuck at the minute, one minute. Give it a bit extra beans. It's things going up a hill, so it's not liking that too much. Right, let's park it. Let's let's just put it here, and then we'll shut it down. So parking brake on, which I've got. A, I've actually got a button for. So, and what we're going to do is we're going to turn the landing lights off. We're going to turn the master avionics off. I don't bother turning all this stuff off. Um. And then we turn the pitot heat off. This one, oh god, man. This takes forever to do this one with the nav lights, but there we go. The nav lights are now off. Uh, this can now be set to off as well. And then we can pull the prop out. Pull the throttle out, and then we can cut it with the mixture. Perfect. And then we'll turn the key off, and turn the battery off, and the beacon. Perfect. Right, so um, we'll turn the fuels off. I love the little clicking of the engine cooling down. It's what cars do, isn't it? So, right, so I don't know if it does. And let me just reset the. Oh, that, that was at neutral, which is good anyway. Right. Let's see if we've got tow on here because I'm not sure. It used to. It used to have tow. But jacks. Oh, tow. This big thing. I don't know how it works, though. Uh, if I'm moving this, I don't really know how it works. I've never done it. No, nope, that's moving the camera. <laughs> how do we tow? How do we tow? I, I'm sure there's got to be a way. That's the drone mode, so it can't be that. Right. See, I know why. I use the yoke, right? I use the yoke, however, I've got the parking brake on, so we, we need to undo the parking brake. There. Because obviously you can't move with the parking brake on, James, you dumbass, right? Let's just see if we... Oh, there we go. Oh, ho, ho. Can we, can we, can we hide that while I'm towing? Other way. Let's go straight back. And then we'll fling it in that way. It's a weird camera angle. This is so cool that we're... That we're getting it into the hangar. <laughs> properly as well come on you can do it oh we've kind of gone through the through the uh through the, the door but what why does it keep turning that way for one minute one minute it doesn't mind it that way is it my brother pedals that's doing this what i had this going just one minute Yeah, the toes the toes not really fantastic for me. There we go. There we go. That that's a bit better. Keep going, come on, you can do it. It seems to want to stop.
Oh, here we go. Come oh, on, a bit further. Right. So now, <laughs> how do I get out of the... How do I bring up the bloody thing again? <laughs> no! Oh, there we go. All right, so get rid of the toe now. No, we, we we're not even in, are we? We need to. Oh, we need to be. We need to be in. For some reason it doesn't like it inside this hangar. It's just like I think it might. There might be a slight incline or a hill or something. Keep going. It's a very slow process. This is, but it's going to look good afterwards. Right, we are pretty much in there. We're, we're in. We're in. So, parking brake on. Let's uh, let's kill that. Uh, parking brake on. Control locks on. And I think that is it. I think we're done. Yes. And we are in. Look at that. That's beautiful. Stunning. Right, my new home. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little screenshot of this because uh, I need it for my stream preview. So let's uh, let's do that one minute. Come on, computer, play ball. Right, let's uh, let's do that. Pom pom pom. Perfectimo. Right, so. That's it. That was uh, that was the stream, and that was uh, Titan Hill, the Comanche East Midlands. So, uh, thanks for joining everyone, and I'm gonna call it call it there, and uh, take care. See you soon. See you next time.